Good morning, DP. I'm Gabby Powers. And I'm Sophia Prothro. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Attention juniors and seniors, Cal Soap is hosting a personal statement workshop on September 22nd at Santa Barbara Junior High School, the Globe Theater from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Paul Zakarwalski is an expert that will be providing the students with help through college applications on the Common Application Essay, the new UC Personal Insight Questions, and tips for personal statements. Students of all ages are welcome. It's not exclusive to juniors and seniors. Avon 39, the Walk to Cure Breast Cancer, needs volunteers this weekend. This event ends on the 11th. Contact Sydney at avon39.org to get details. Attention youth groups. $30,000 is available for youth-led projects. If you have a youth-led project that benefits the community, addressing an issue facing young people, you can apply for a $15,000 grant through the Youth Making a Change program. A workshop will be held on September 15th from 5 to 7 on 1221 Chapala Street. For more information, go to tinyurl.com slash sbyouthgrant. The Supporting Overseas Students Club meets every other Monday in Ms. Savio's room. Tomorrow is Senior Picture Makeup Day in the cafeteria. Students can make their appointment by going to the front desk in the office to get the phone number. If you don't have a photo already, it is important that you take it tomorrow or you will not appear in the yearbook. The Youth for Direct Relief Club meets every other Wednesday in Ms. Bollinger's room. Art from Scrap and Explore Ecology offer year-round volunteer opportunities in their art and environmental educational programs. Contact Alex at exploreecology.org for more info. Applications for volunteering at Boo at the Zoo this year are now available. You can either dress up in a fun costume or help out on Boo Crew. Visit the zoo's website to learn more. Yesterday was the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. It is also DP's 50th, and hopefully they will both continue to live long and prosper. There are volunteer opportunities at Fairview Gardens every Tuesday from 3.30 to 6 p.m. from September 13th to November 15th. Please email education at fairviewgardens.org to get details. The SB Public Library is looking for volunteers to help their homework help program for K-6 grade students. If you are interested, please stop by the library from 1.30 to 3 tomorrow in the island room inside the Children's Library to attend the training. The Mock Trial Club is meeting today at lunch in H30 to learn information about tryouts and just general information about the club. Here is a video from leadership about what's happening in the Greek today at lunch. Oh, yeah, uh, that's not a gold card. <laughs> you gotta let me in, man. Oh, uh, you're gonna either have to go buy a ticket and wait in the long line that's not for gold cards, or go to the business office and purchase one for sixty dollars. I think I'm gonna go to the business office. Buy your gold cards for sixty dollars to get into games free and discounts on dances. You could get it in the business office uh, before school, at lunch, or after school. What up, DP? We are here in the GREEK, and this is where we'll have all of our class competitions. The first one is this Friday. It's the easiest competition you'll ever compete in. Alyssa, tell us more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, come down to the Greek. Like he said, it's the easiest Greek competition Whoa! you'll ever <laughs> participate in. You come down with your classmates. So if you are a freshman, you're going to come down and stand in the football that will be in our Greek and so on and so forth, and you get class points. What happens at the end of the year with these class points? If your class wins, you will get an ice cream party. Hey Alyssa, how do you earn class points? You compete on Fridays. You play the games that we throw on Fridays in the Greek. Be here. The Greek. The G-R-E-E-K. The Greek. This Friday. This Friday. And also this Friday, be at our first home football game against Rigetti. Wear white, be spirited, get rowdy. Let's go. Show me your white Marcellus. Yeah. <laughs> Teachers, come to the Greek on Friday for fill in the football. Freshmen, come up to the Greek today at lunch. Sophomores, come to the Greek today at lunch. Sophomores, come to the 
game is Friday. Juniors, make sure to come to the Greek today to support our football team. Juniors, come to the football game today. Friday. <laughs> Seniors, come to the Greek at lunch. All juniors, come, come to the, to the Greek, Greek on Friday. And seniors. <laughs> Hey Chargers, go to the football game this Friday against Rigetti. Wear white. Hey Thomas, why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, Diego. Because you want to go to the football game on Friday. Let's go! This is just a correction. The Mock Trot Club will actually be meeting in T3, not H30. You can always submit your stories, club meetings, or announcement on the DP website under resources, and we'll try to get as much as we can on the show. Now over to Caleb with your DP Sports Report. Good morning Chargers, it's Caleb Severson here with your sports report. Girls Tennis had two matches this week on Tuesday. They traveled to Calabasas and tied 9-9 but lost games 81-83, through 83, dropping to 0-1 overall on the season. The girls bounced back on Thursday as they won 11-7 at San Marcos. In singles, freshman Michaela Triplett swept 6-0, 6-0 and then faced the Royals' Yuka Pereira in a gutsy match and finished that set 6-4. In doubles, Hannah Kay and Rose H swept 6-4, 6-3, 6-1. Girls Tennis is 1-1 one one heading into Monday's 3 p.m. away match against San Inez. Girls Volleyball beat Oxnard 3-1 in a non-league match to improve to 5-1 on the season. The girls played a very balanced match as Danica Minich had 3 aces, 9 kills, and 11 digs. Morgan Gomez had 11 kills, 11 digs. And Danielle LaGrange had 11 kills and 4 blocks. Also adding to the success of the Chargers was Lauren Buey with 6 kills and 26 digs, and Allison Minich had 26 digs of her own. Girls Volleyball will compete in the slow tournament today and tomorrow. Girls Golf continued their dominance with a 237-251 to win against San Marcos. The Chargers were led by Gabby Minier, who ended with an even par round to take medalist honors. Golf is back on the course Monday in the Simi Valley Tournament. Boys Water Polo lost their first match of the season 9-11 against Los Osos. Ben Cable had 10 saves in goal. Freshman Ethan Parrish scored two goals in an impressive varsity debut. Sophomore Wyatt Meckleborg and junior Matt Binkley each had a goal apiece. Cross Country opens up their season today at the Seaside Invitational in Ventura. And more exciting news, varsity football has their home open tonight at 7. Be sure to wish them luck when you see them in the halls. You already know this game is going to be lit, so make sure to wear white and bring tons of spirit as the team takes on Rigetti. Until next time, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather report. Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report. Today's temperatures will be a high of 73 degrees and a low of 60 degrees with 70% humidity. There will also be 10 mile per hour winds today. The surf today will be a high of 4.5 and a low of 3 feet, so make sure to hang out at the beach this weekend and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a, a rad day! Weekend.